What's up guys, it's Daniel the Vape Man. Today, which one are we gonna do first? Which one are we gonna do first? Which one are we gonna do first? Let's do this one first. So, we got Rainbow Mouth, Sour something. What is it? Sour Burst. And it is Watermelon. Very simple, very simplistic. This one surprised me. Uh, I I don't think, well, I don't know at this point. I didn't think I would like juicy flavors or sour flavors. And yes, I am gonna squonk, put this on the squonk just for fuck's sakes. Just flood the deck. I've got the dead rabbit on top of here, so I don't. Here's the first con is this bottle is pretty annoying. There we go. Jump, 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 jump. You can just flood it. It's a dead rabbit. Let that soak in. So this is, uh,. Quote unquote, a sour watermelon, if you couldn't tell by it being called sour burst watermelon, in case you didn't know, you know. So there's really not much to it. I'm not going to sit here and explain how to fuck watermelon taste. Because uh, if you don't know, you're kind of stupid. So I'm not here to educate you on it. But what I'm going to explain to you is uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so when you can see me, eventually, it's essentially just a sour watermelon candy, but it is pretty good. Now I get a little bit more of a strawberry vibe here, because watermelon is really hard to replicate in my opinion, and you can't really find an authentic uh, strawberry one. Or watermelon one, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, uh, you def I mean, you get a little bit of strawberry, but to me, it kind of tastes like strawberry and watermelon together. Um, yeah. One thing is the sour. I don't really. I don't. I don't know how you taste sour. You know, like when you vape it. Like, are you gonna be like, it's sour? I don't know. I don't get that vibe. The vibe I get is like, um, uh, what's that sour gummy candy that you get? I can't remember what they call it. Sour Kids? Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, it tastes like a Sour Patch Kid without the sour and without the kid. Uh, it just tastes like that, like, once you get through the sourness. Like, there's no sour in here. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know how you mimic that. I guess tardiness? Clouds are definitely good on here, and you definitely get a strong uh, watermelon strawberry candy kind of deal. They do have several other ones, like a pink starburst, and like I think a mango, or like a, a variety of different sour flavors. But essentially, to me, it just tastes like candy, like a, a watermelon strawberry candy. That's the vibe I get from it. You do get a little bit of a harshness due to the tartiness, I guess. I don't know. So let's get skip straight to the point, because really, if I do this video longer than like 10 minutes of me explaining how fucking watermelon candy tastes, I have no life. And I don't have a life, but I still want to act like I have a life for you. So, let's do the mimictation. So the mimictation, does it taste like watermelon? Uh, no. I've never really had a watermelon flavor that tastes like watermelon. It always tastes like something else, like strawberries or berries or some shit. It doesn't really taste like watermelon. It tastes definitely, I mean, if we're talking mimictation about candy, I'm saying about 90%. If we're talking about watermelon, it's probably like a 10%. So if you combine that, it's 100%, but no. Uh, it's like 10, 20% watermelon. I get more of a strawberry vibe from it. That's just me. That's my tongue or whatever. But yeah, it's still, nonetheless, it's good. I can't tell you what uh, the VGPG is, but I believe this is a 70-30 if I remember correctly. All my example boxes were 70-30 or 80-20. So, you definitely get a good amount of clouds here, good amount of flavor. Definitely a pretty close all-day vape. I mean, I haven't vaped it all day, but that's because I have so much flavors and I'm so backed up. I really have been all-day vaping the same, like, five flavors. But I did vape this for one day, and I know I'm going to vape it uh, again. I haven't finished much of it. M much of it. I haven't finished much of it. 
fuck it, it was that Did I turn into like a German midway when I was saying that? I haven't finished much of it. Yeah. I haven't finished much of it, but I still like it. My 0 to 10 uh, scale on whether or not I like it, this is difficult because I don't hate it, but I don't, I, I, you know, like. I haven't all day vaped it, it's kind of been on the back burner because there's so many flavors. The next review that I'm going to do right after this, I have been vaping the shit out of it and actually had to slow down on it. Here's a preview of it. There you go. Right there, that's that's too much. Too much. Yeah, I've been, uh, I had to like ignore it because the, the I the, literally, I think one day I already vaped half the bottle, I think. Yeah, about half the bottle. I'm trying to save it until my next sample box and then order some more. Not with sample box. I'm going to get a 60 milliliter. I wish it would sell 100. What, tangent fill. We've, we've reached the six minute mark. So anyways, I give it a 8. An 8. It's not like... It's definitely an 8. It's a solid motherfucker. Solid as shit. Okay? Just wish it would have tasted a little bit more like rainbow. <laughs> like watermelon. And I also wish it was sour. Because it's not sour. I mean, I'm just curious to see how sour it would taste. But it's still a good flavor. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. So it is Rainbow Mouth. Sour Burst. Watermelon. Three nicotine. Very clean. Simple. Bottle. Nothing too fancy on this motherfucker. Which is really good. What does this shit say? Warning, this product contains bullshit. And blah blah blah. What? This product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Ooh, scary. It's gonna eat me when I sleep at night. Even though nicotine is the equivalent of caffeine, sugar, and fucking. Caffeine, sugar, and what was that one? I fucking can't remember. But anyway, stay tuned. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So I might as well show you. I might as well show you what I'm gonna do next. Boom. But you don't know which one, because it doesn't say. And I'm not going to turn around, because then it will say. It looks like it's on fire. That's because emotionally, it's going to make you feel like you're on fire. Which, I don't know if that's a good thing, actually. I don't want to say. Anyways, you all have a good night. Please like and subscribe. Share with all your friends, because I only have 100 subscribers. I Thanks to all the 100 subscribers, I somehow broke that in two months. Don't know how I did that. That's crazy. So thank you all. Anyways, stay tuned.